Volatile Upgrade! Uh, hey, 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 uh -huh. Welcome back to Valtile Upgrade, everybody. We we're going to kill around a couple dollar dinosaurs. We've got three more to go. Let's see if we can finish that within this episode. We should be able to, at least for this level. We'll never be able to do it, folks. You heard it here first. Oh, the navigating in this sucks. Do you know what game I'm absolutely ecstatic that I can't wait for it to come out? What is that, Henry? Tell the audience. Red Dead Redemption, Redemption 2. 2. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy there's a second one. I hope you get to play... I think the main character from the first one was John, but I'm really hoping you could play as him again in the second one. Okay. I love that game. I've never played it. Surprise, oh surprise. I, oh, I'm so upset there's not a PC port for it. Whoa. It sucks. It's only for uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox, and I'm pretty sure they... Re like, uh, I might be backwards compatible with the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, or they did... I don't think they did a full uh, conversion over for it. So they didn't, like, remake the game? Yeah. Huh. They may have. I could be wrong completely. Yeah, like, I, I think you might be right. I don't know anything about Red Dead Redemption, other than the fact that somebody told me it's like GTA, but in the Wild West. Well, see, the same people who made GTA are the ones who made Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar Studios. That would make sense. So that's why that's why there's a lot of similarities between the games and that. But oh my god. So I like GTA and everything, but I don't like the, the atmosphere, like the scenes and everything, like the scenic... Uh, the location and everything for the game. It's like, oh, so you like, yeah, blah, blah, like blah, the blah, setting bullshit. is boring. Yeah, I don't like that as much. I like the Wild West and everything where there's like no rules except for like cowboys and all that crazy shit and everything. So it was like that game was just like, ah, oh, cherry on top. Fucking loved it. The hands down, probably a game I could easily play like 10 times over and not get bored with it just because it's, it's, it's such a good story too. Like there's side missions and shit and you don't have to play the story. Like the, the main. Uh, main storyline for it immediately. You can go right. around and do all the side quests and shit, and it's like it's it's ah, more, so more open end than yep a lot of games can be. Yes, so that was definitely really fun and everything. But I I really do need to play that again. I really wish it came to PC, but unfortunately they said that they most likely won't release the first one for it, uh, as a PC title. But they are thinking about doing the second one as a PC title, which would be fucking fantastic. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, that'd be cool. Uh, like I don't. Like I said, I don't know anything about it. Uh, I I think I watched my my one friend play it once a little bit, but like I can't have possibly have even experienced even partially, even remotely, a little bit of the depth of the game. Where are all the dinosaurs? Gosh dang it! There's yeah. one more on this level, and I need to find him and kill him. Trying to make them go extinct. I like that. I yeah. like it. I like that. You liked it, and you currently like it as well. Yes. What he said. Yeah. Um. It'd be cool if they uh, gave you a map in the corner, considering how much extra screen we have. I know. Like the motion sensor only works outside. What is this bullcrap? Like I should be able to attack them inside too. That would be nice. I don't know, the metal could be interfering with it, to be fair. For this scenario. Well, it's true, but still, this is... Meh. Oh, there it is. Killed him. Yes. All right, now the we double can... Double-O dinos left on this level. Yep. That means there's zero. <laughs> <laughs> Good you know, for, for those of you who uh, didn't realize, which I'm pretty sure is nobody... <laughs> uh, all right, so, sub-level four, here we go. We got Alice Sattler's ID card. Uh, now we need to go to sub-level 4. There are 25 dinos. Uh, Alright, so there's nothing special we need to do on this sub-level. Except just kill all 25 dinos. Bitchin. 25. Can't wait. 25! Are you glad you're not playing this? Yeah, totally. Sucks dick. 100% it does. Another game I really want to play? Yeah. L.A. Noir. I heard about that, I just don't really know what it is, per se. Uh, it's kind of like in the 60s, 70s, you play as a detective, trying to figure out, like, murders and everything. Uh, you do interviews and shit like that, and basically, uh, you kind of read people's reactions and stuff when they're, like, in the interrogation room, so you kind of look for, like, uh, like, ticks and stuff to see if they're lying and everything. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a detective game and everything. But you also, it's, you, like, um... The, I forget who made it. It might have been Rockstar also who made this one. I think it actually might have been. Um, they ended up making 
LA oh, back shoot. back in that era, like uh like a perfect replica of it. Like what was huh. what it was like back in like the sixties and everything. Like all the roads and shit that were built and everything. So it was, it's it's almost like a a full a full scale model of what LA used to be like. That's pretty cool. It is, so I think that's pretty neat for what they did there. I don't like this. Oh! Slow down, man. Those frames. Like, yeah, like, it literally cut my frames down by half, and I was already at five frames per second. Oh, okay, so. This room is bowl. It's over. It's done. Oh. It's good! Yep, kill them. Got him, boss. All right, four dinos left on this level. See, this is, one of them. this is actually a pretty quick section. Like, there's not that many rooms. There's just a well, lot. Well, after that last room, when there was like twenty of them right there. Yeah, it's true. Uh, there's goodies around back. Such a shame you can't strafe. It is. Uh. It really is unfortunate. Hey, what's up? Good, Alan. I think I killed all of them. You know one game that you should play? What's that? Alan Wake. Describe it for me. Uh, it is a survival horror game. That does not sound like my kind of game. <laughs> it's not like the kind that Dan and Tyler play. Oh. Not when we go around collecting shit. It's a linear story. Speaking of that, isn't, uh... Are you freaking kidding me? Isn't that kind of what, uh... Category The Last of Us would fall into? Yes. A uh, survival horror? Mm-hmm. Um... I'm gonna be getting into that game pretty soon here. Like, I recently bought a PS4, well, at the time of this recording was recently. I bought it. Wow, way to date the fucking house. Well, they don't know when I bought it. When'd you buy it? I'm not telling. Black Friday. Freaking Henry. <laughs> <laughs> <And, laughs> Alright, so, Black Friday, I picked up a PS4. But we don't know what year Black Friday 2016. <laughs> we picked up a, uh, I picked up a PS4 Slim, and I know, ooh, PS4 Slim, that's the worst model. Actually, no. The At base. the time of this recording, it is. At the, no, the <laughs> the base PS4 is actually the worst model. Uh, the PS4... Base, 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 base. No, the PS4 Slim is actually the same thing in just a different box. Uh, it's smaller, it's uh, quieter. Uh, sleek. It's, it's very sleek, actually. I, I like the appearance of it a lot. What was that thing that fell off like the first day you opened it, though? Uh, it was like a little rubber foot on the bottom. You hear that, folks? A little rubber feet falling off your PS4 day of a box unboxing. Well, I put it back it's on. terrible. After putting it, applying like 20 layers of super glue. Not true, I just stuck it back in its hole. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... Anyway, uh, got the PS4 Slim. I got four games with it. You know how I... Just to note this, I like how we're talking about all these other different games that we like while we're playing this one. It sucks. I have nothing to say about it. It's nothing but misery, and it's you just can't talk about it enough, like how bad it fucking is. Oh, it sucks. Like, absolutely sucks. You got shotgun chills. I know I did. Exquisite. Um, anyway, when I got my PS4, I, uh, I picked up... Well, I mean, the bundle that came with it was... Hey, there's the elevator. The bundle that came with it was Uncharted 4, which comes with every PS4 Slim. Uh, and as the Best Buy deal, I got Ratchet and Clank and The Last of Us Remastered with it. And I also, since I've never played an Uncharted game, I also picked up the first three via the Nathan Drake collection. It was like 20 bucks, how could I not pick it up? Um, but yeah, uh, I've played Ratchet and Clank, I 100%ed it, it was awesome, I loved it. And I haven't played my PS4 since. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's finals. And well, everything. it was to finals, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I played Ratchet and Clank, beat it in a week, got all the achievements and everything. Trophies, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's not Xbox, fool. 
I got all the trophies. Uh, I loved every second of it. That game was awesome. And I felt like it was a good way to kind of ease myself into the Sony brand. Because it's the most Nintendo looking... Yeah, I know. It's the most Nintendo looking Sony game that I know of. I mean, maybe Little Big Planet, but... Anyway. Little Big Planet's really fun. But that's a story for another day. Uh, but I, I was pretty neck deep in schoolwork and stuff after I beat Ratchet and Clank. So I had to focus on all that. Uh, I had finals to study for. I had my senior project to work on. Homework to do. All that stuff. Um, but now we're done with the semester. And I have a couple weeks to really play some awesome games. Uh, we were mentioning Warframe earlier. I'll be playing that with Henry and Daniel probably sometime this evening. Uh, I'd like to play The Last of Us Remastered. Like, I've heard so many th good things about that game. I just have never played it. It looks really good. Yeah. I haven't played it because I haven't bought it for PlayStation 3 yet. Because I have a PS3. I yeah. got that last Black Friday. And I haven't really touched it much, which is sad to say. Alright, so... While I was going about, I completely forgot what I'm supposed to do next. Exquisite. Uh, go to the raptor nest. This is another frustrating task, but thankfully it doesn't require as much running around from place to place. Go to the nearest computer. Well, right now the nearest computer isn't here. Go to the nearest computer, uh, which will probably... whatever. And unlock gate number one. So let's go unlock gate number one, huh, Henry? I like that plan. Let's do it. <laughs> Mostly because it, it uh, allows us to get closer to the end of this shithole. Yeah, seriously. Fucking um, cancer game. Huh? What? Aww. What did you want to play? No, I was gonna hold your phone. Uh, it's alright. You don't want to get your hands dirty with an Apple product. I like apples, but not the fucking manufacturer. Yeah, me either. Like, I'm, I'm definitely gonna switch away from iPhone when I can. When I can, yeah. I'm on that, like, two-year contract deal, for those of you who, well, why am I up here? Mm -hmm. I'm just not thinking. I'm kind of just playing and talking about my life experiences. See, that was the issue I was having during the Bioshock playthroughs, because when I would play, I would focus too hard and not be able to really, like, talk about anything. And if I did talk about something, I'd completely lose focus and start fucking up, and then it's going to be, like, even longer. By the way, guys, like, we do plan at some point to get the back to the Bioshock series. If anything, I can... Yeah, this was a topic that... Or, uh, that we, we were talking about that earlier, yeah. Yeah. And uh, might end up just uh, finishing that series out with the remastered ones. Yeah. Well, with the remastered one, I should say, because we only started playing the first one. Like, we, we were thinking about playing it, uh, while we're all up here at my apartment, but unfortunately Tyler didn't want to play it, and we didn't want to go on without him. And we also, I also wanted to play this one, so, I don't know why. It's probably because I hate myself. Bah. I won't disagree. Anyway, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, I'm gonna switch away from iPhone. I want to get something that doesn't suck. I mean, iPhones don't suck that badly, but there are definitely better phones out there. Um, don't get a Galaxy. Don't get a Galaxy. Unless you want your pocket to light on fire. Oh, is that a thing? The battery's been exploding in those uh, oh. sevens, I think. Oh. <clears throat> well, I'll have to take a look at my options and see what I can, what I can get. I really like my phone. And yeah, you have provider. an Asus phone. Yep. And no, that's not Isis. No, Asus. A-S-U-S. Do not shoot the Gleminous. <laughs> they may stampede. Thank you for reading that again. I love the Gleminous. Gleminous. What the heck? Killing all of them. I don't know if I lose points for killing them. I don't think so. Alright. So what I need to do next is go to the North Utility Shed. I need to go to the North Utility Shed, and there is where I will pick up some nerve gas. Hiya. Oh, crap. Hi, hi. No, no. Hiya. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. 
So, Samsung, don't freak out about exploding Galaxy S7. It's November 21st, 2016. Huh? Alright, so going back to Jurassic Park for a second. Oh, yeah. Trusted tip members. Whoa. Whoa. Well, let me get this egg first. Eat my ass. Alright, well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Volatile Upgrade, guys. Um, Make sure to like, comment, and click the bell so that way you get notifications about when we upload videos. Helps us a lot. Eat my ass. And uh, see you in the next episode, guys. Bye bye! <laughs>